Hello everyone and welcome to our latest Arduino tutorial. Today we will be speaking about how to integrate our 2D footage, so our sourced imagery, and integrating that into our 3D scene. Uh, specifically talking about this set of trees and how we integrated that into our scene. And just to give you a little bit of a taster, uh, I'll just show you the base render, and that's pretty similar to all the techniques that we've used uh, just with our tree. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our tutorial. So let's get this tutorial started, and I'll just grab a brush. So we're going to start by finding the correct tree and what we want to insert in. Uh, I mean, we're not thinking about too much about composition in this tutorial. It's more about just, just finding something that fits. And I've kind of just sketched out what I want. So I want to continue with this uh, mood that we have here at the moment. Uh, as you can see by our past work, uh, we're very much into uh, the whole um, painting and adding in 2D assets. Um, one of those that really went into uh, this whole element of, of bringing in different types of vegetation was this one. And I'll just show you a quick before and after. So that's just how we took it from the render engine and how we inserted all these uh, 2D assets. So let's get back to our original drawing and I'll just show you the base render so you can see it's very simple uh, but all this has been done in 2D elements. So let's just start off by finding what we want. So the best thing to do is, is kind of jump on Flickr and I'm doing this live so if, if you see me go back and forth you know why. Um, and yeah, I've just searched for a palm so uh, I'm trying to look for something that fits in quite well. Uh, I mean, you can browse various ones. Uh, the important thing is that you're able to download them and they're also quite high quality. So I start to look around and this one looks quite nice. So I, I may download that one. And let's, let's try this one. So I'm going to bring it in and start cutting out. So the first thing we'll learn is actually how to cut out. So generally the best way to cut out is you come into your channels, uh, especially when you have a nice separation. You don't want to spend too much time. So you go into your channels tab, you duplicate it, and you press L for levels, control L. And I'm just trying to remove the I'm trying to remove the blue sky. So the blue the blue channels is actually where I have the highest contrast. So it's it's basically where I can select the best option. As you can see, and I'll just hide that, it's the one with most contrast. So we have green, but that doesn't present too good contrast for, for separation. We have uh, the green one, sorry, we have the red, and we have now the blue. So I've isolated that, and I've duplicated it, and I've just leveled. And this is what we have. So I can basically just come into this and select it. Uh, I've got, I haven't got contiguous on or, or anything else, and I'm just selecting uh, what we have. And this will very quickly uh, just draw a mask. So we have our mask, and that was done really quickly. Uh, you can see I didn't need to fiddle around too much with it and now I'm just kind of going into it and just getting rid of uh, other little artifacts that have come along with our chopping process. So again, there are various ways you can do this. You can actually start to go into uh, other settings. Uh, for instance, if you press W in your magic wand, you can actually select and then refine edge and that just pops up one second and here we go so we can define the radius we can define the smoothness and that will kind of uh, just just start to give certain different aspects I generally don't work like this because uh, we want to be quick about what we're doing so I don't want to spend too much time on it and I'm very quickly just rubbing in what I need and it's all about making the assets work for you not you working for them and as you can see, I very quickly just cut these out without even much effort. And also I've left the shadow in. So that's another cool thing. And again, I'm just hard brushing into this. It's, it's all about making this work. So I'll just get rid of these little things. And I'll just pause and get rid of all the details. So I've just got back to our, our image and I'm just going to bring that in. I've cut it out, so just drag and drop. And I can even do the following, so I can just apply a layer mask. 
uh, you probably don't want to do this just yet just because um, you may need to rub in some more but just very quickly that's what I've done and I'll just control T flip it along the horizontal edge to kind of match the shadow so we've got something quite similar to, to what we want already get rid of our place markers and let's just try and insert these trees here first thing I can see is actually we don't have our shadows matching so that's something we'll definitely have to take care of so I'll just go into this and I'll first thing to do is actually layer matting the fringe that will get rid of our little fringing there we go so we got rid of that blue and now all we have to do is uh, just very similar to the tutorial that we've uh, done before in regards to people we have to actually just match them uh, in terms of uh, your layers so in terms of your levels so you can just black and white and you can see that you may need to lift up a little bit of the white channel and just a little bit here darken bring out the levels so we, we've got our levels kind of working at the moment now we need our colors to work so I'll just add a hue saturation on that again you'll see that I, I, I don't even really uh, add, add too many layers that adjust so we'll add our hue saturation and then we'll add our color balance so we'll color that to match exactly so we've got a bit too much blue in there at the moment so even too much green so we need to add in a bit more of that of that um, that orangey tone so I'm going like that and I think that's that's starting to work um, one other thing just very similar to what we did with the people we can even just soft light it and put that soft light find a nice soft brush and here we go into the soft brush and just ever so slightly brushing a bit of shadow just to, to show where the direction of the light is coming from and we can do the opposite with the white to bring in the highlights so as you can see we've started to get starting to get our, our tree to really work for us and it's really coming along so uh, yeah that seems to be working again one other thing and I'm actually trying to do this without masking so if I wanted to cut out a little bit of that tree I'd probably find one of my brushes and again um, these are the same set of brushes that I've been using pretty much all the tutorials uh, and you'll find some reference to to where they are and where you can find them uh, if you look in the people uh, the people tutorial it should be there so I just brush in ever so slightly something you know quite loose and that's that's kind of working that seems to be working so you see that very simply I didn't even mask properly but I've managed to, to get this working and now I'm trying to look at it and always kind of adjusting so let's just uh, shift so we can get a, a flip our canvas over to get a new perspective on it and I think that's that's starting to work quite well so let's just level that that's that's looking much better okay that's that's starting to come to life now to add the shadows so let me get rid of these shadows very quickly brush them out so I'll grab again my nice uh, strong hard brush just with no transfer or anything and I'll set the opacity to 100 and the fill to 100 so I'll just get rid of that really quickly uh, yeah like so you need to bum these in and I can even just afford to go really quick like that and thus like that so my best way I'm starting to think is actually probably just grabbing one of these trees and el elongating it so what I'll do is I'll just um, grab that uh, just control click on on the the tree and I'll I'll probably just fill that in with black now again this is there is no absolute correct way but this is a way that I'm kind of thinking might work and I, I haven't tried this I'm, tr I'm trying this on the fly every single way would probably be different but I'm just trying to see if this would work so I'm trying to just cut out ever so slightly again I'm always uh, thinking of this as a drawing so that's what you want to do you want to contextualize things and and think as a drawing and not as um, as a technique or a specific way of doing you have to always be 
on your feet and thinking, okay, this is a drawing, uh, the possibilities are endless, and what do I want it to work for me? How do I want it to work for me? So that's always the way I'm trying to think when I'm doing these, you know, it's, uh, it's always, how can this work for me? How, how am I using these brushes to create what I want? Now, I'm just roughly doing this. So, okay, I think that's, that's kind of working. So let's see if we can get this to work and I'll just duplicate it down so I have a copy. And let's see if we can get this to work. Now our shadow should be coming. Now our shadow, as I was saying, uh, I've, I've kind of distorted it, but our shadow should be coming from here. So it should kind of even be lining up. Um, so I'm just distorting that to go in the right direction that I need. Uh, our sun is kind of high from what I can see, so the shadow is not going to be that much elongated. And there we go, I've started to get our shadow kind of working, so I can just punch that down, and I'm just changing the fill and opacity, and again, I can just work with these, and I can just amp them up as I need. So as you can see, I'm just filling these in as I need be. So again, we'll need one for that other tree. And what I might do is just actually delete that. Just kind of merge them all together at 100%. So we have pretty much all the shapes and we can just lower their intensity. So as you can see, uh, it's, it's starting to work at the moment. I can use a gradient and I'll just soft the gradient because it tends to fall off. Now I'll unlink so I can blur that. And I can just come into here and just slightly blur. And now we start, we're start. we starting to get the shadow working for us. So I think that's working quite well in terms of shadow. And I did this image and I'm thinking, now I should have actually just inserted these trees. <laughs> they don't look too bad. But um, if I do want to go into this uh, last few you know, last few touches, I would probably start to touch up certain things, you know, so I'm creating a, certain, a different layer, contact shadows, and maybe even just a bit of soft shadow above it, or where they touch. So, let's just put on soft light, and we're starting to get a bit of that nice soft shadow. So just where they touch, so it's kind of, you know, contacting uh, with the shadow. And I guess that's a very quick way of, uh, of doing it. And I can even blur down here. I think the main element is the blur. A lot of people tend to think, you know, shadows are quite straight and quite rigid, but they're not actually that rigid. You're, you, if you look, you have a lot of atmosphere and the atmosphere really interferes with, um, with the shadow. So I guess that's, that's a very simple way of, uh, of inserting trees. And if we look, we have our base tree, we're starting to correct it, and just our final little touches. So I hope that's helped, and uh, we've had a quick one today. So it's, it's basically a very quick way of uh, inserting trees and foliage in general. So if you have any questions or any recommendations for the next tutorial, um, leave your questions uh, just below. And thanks again for hearing this tutorial and listening, and we'll see you in the next one, I guess. So um, thank you all. Cheers.